Hello friends, this video on sources of energy part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction A good source of energy Conventional sources of energy Non-conventional sources of energy Environmental consequences and Lifetime of an energy source So, so in this lesson, sources of energy What do you think we are going to talk about? Well, we are going to talk about the different sources which we have for energy. When I talk of energy, you uh, you are reminded of the different forms of energies like heat energy, light energy, kinetic energy, potential energy, electrical energy and so many. Right? So we have studied in all our previous lessons that energy is something which is conserved and it can be transformed from one form to another. So in this lesson, we will see what are the different kinds of sources that we have around us from which we can derive different kinds of energies. So in this lesson, we will talk about something like the electrical energy, which we see in our houses in all forms, maybe in the form of the electric bulb, the tube lights, the electric fans, the computers and so many things. Not only that, we will also look at different energy sources like coal. When you burn coal, a lot of heat energy is produced and that heat energy is utilized for many practical purposes like cooking, like generation of electricity. So, we will talk about uh, some other kind of en sources of energy, for example, natural gas, petroleum, nuclear energy. Hydro energy from where we derive energy or we derive electrical energy from water. We'll talk about some natural forms of energy like wind, wind energy. So these are some of the examples which we have displayed here on the snapshot. As we go ahead, we will talk about the categories. I mean, how do we categorize the sources of energy? What are the types of, what are the broad classification of sources of energy and what are exactly each of the sources of energy and how can we preserve them for our future. So before that, let us try to understand what do we mean by a good source of energy. I mean, for example, just now I mentioned that coal is a source of energy. When you burn coal, a lot of heat energy is produced. Right? So it is a source of energy. Similarly, when you think of natural gas, it is again another source of energy. When you think of wind energy, the wind blows and that blowing of the wind that can be used to produce electricity. So again wind is also wind energy is also a wind is also a source of energy. But how do we know that which energy source is a good source, which energy source is a bad source? I mean how do we define a good source of energy? Well, there are some of the characteristics that a good source of energy should have. A good source of energy is one which does large amount of work per unit volume or mass. That means even if you take a small amount of that substance, you are able to produce a large amount of energy, right? So that means the um, material which is needed, right, to produce that huge amount of energy is less. So if a small amount of input produces a large amount of output, we say that is generally good, right? So a good source of energy is something, some uh, is one which does a large amount of work per unit volume or mass. It is easily accessible. That means you can, I mean, it is not very difficult to find that source of energy. So it is within your reach and you can, you can actually access that energy source. It should be portable. That means it should be good enough or it should be easy to transport it from one place to another. So that quality should also be there. It should be economical, obviously, because it should not be, I mean, it, it shouldn't happen that there is a huge amount of cost which is involved in utilizing a source of energy. So it has to be economical. And also it should be easy to store because let us suppose if I say that coal is a form of energy. I'm just taking an example right now. So why do I say that coal is a form of energy, I mean source of energy? Because when we burn coal, we get a lot of heat energy and that heat energy can be utilized for cooking purpose or it can be used for generation of electricity or whatever it is, right? So coal is a form of energy. I mean coal is a source of energy. Now, if coal 
is easily accessible that means if you are able to access it easily it, you can i mean the formation of coal or the places where coal is found if you can easily get it from there then we can say that it is a good source of energy similarly it should be portable that means you should be able to carry coal from one place to another easily it should be economical it should not be very expensive and all also it should be easy to store you should be able to store coal so that you can use it for future purposes right so these are so coal was just an example how good or how bad a source of energy is coal that we will discuss later so if, what i'm trying to emphasize right now is that if we want there are many sources of energy available around us but we categorize or we say that a source of energy is a good source only when it does large amount of work it is easily accessible portable economical and is easy to store so now let us look at the classification of sources of energy now broadly the sources of energy are classified into two categories the first one is conventional sources now as the name suggests conventional what does the word conventional means something which is happening as per tradition also you can also say conventional is nothing but traditional we often say right uh, they have a very traditional family that means their family follows the customs and rituals which their ancestors have had been following since years right so something is the sources of energy which are being used since long time so those sources are known as the conventional sources so that is why here i have uh, i mean if you look at this picture i have shown one old man that means our past generation that's what this picture is actually depicting the past generation is representing something which is traditional something which is happening since long time so the sources of energy which are being used since a long time they are conventional sources on the other hand the second one is non conventional sources that means these are the alternate sources of energy that is the recent sources of energy which are used by used these days right so broadly these are the two types of sources of energy conventional sources of energy and non conventional sources of energy now we will see that why what was the need for non conventional sources when conventional sources were already there now conventional sources were present since long time but there were certain disadvantages associated with the conventional sources of energy and that is where arose a need to find out some alternative sources of energy now as we go ahead with the lesson you will be able to understand wh what are conventional sources why conventional sources were not that good why non conventional sources came up and what is the present energy state of the world so we will talk about everything one by one thank you please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thank you once again